No. No. Hello, my name's Stuart Wood and welcome to this video. Now, I know you was hoping to see the IRIX 150mm review video, but unfortunately, bad luck has struck again when it comes to this cursed lens. Yeah, my daughter was in an accident last week. Um, a concrete slab fell and crushed her big toe. So we have been dealing with that for the last about week and a couple of days. That's why there was no video last week. And, um, Anyone who follows me knows family comes first, so I just I ditched YouTube completely and work and just dealt with that situation first last week. I'm happy to say she is on the mend. The toe is pink, so we don't need to go through an amputation. So with any luck, everything will be great with my little princess. So now let's get on to this unboxing, right? So I approached my friend, okay, and I said to him, I want to put all the different macro lenses together compete them in a kind of a contest such as this irix lens would be on the list and it's um, a kind of a contest of the king of macro which is the best lens for macro photography which one is the best for a beginner who is into macro photography things like that and what i want is a scene that is the same throughout all of the testing uh, so i approached my mate and he said he's going to make me a diorama which is basically like a model set that i can use for testing all of these lenses so we are going to unbox that now. But um, a bit strange though, because last I heard, it only just 3D printed the, uh, the model and was waiting for LEDs to come to fit into it so we can test for bokeh. So let's open this up. Let's have a look at this. So we've got a letter. Maybe I should wait for this to come out in hardback before I read it. Hi mate, I've asked Chris, that's the wife, to put this in an envelope for you without reading it. Obviously she's got no envelopes. She probably has, but I bet by now you're wondering what the contents of the mysterious box are. I already know it's my diorama. You finished it early. I'm not supposed to get it till next year. Uh, that you're not meant to open or till on your camera. So he wants me to open it on camera. Well, well you'll soon find out after a small interlude. First things, happy anniversary to you and your lovely wife. 10 years, 10 years I've been married this year, which is great. And both of you are still alive. Almost glad I lost the bet as I had Chris to be a widow and or in jail but for murder by now. 10 years ago, this month was a good month. I ended up living in the US, but this was outshadowed both in terror and importance by being your best man. Yeah, he was my best man at my wedding. I still have to apologise for being semi-conscious though, half of it and forgot the speech. Although, in my defence, I did have a H1N1 swine flu. Yeah, he turned up. Best man at my wedding turned up with swine flu, which was quite funny, I'll be honest with you. The 10 years on, I owe you a speech. You know I'm not very good at this, but here goes. Okay, so after 10 years, he's finally going to give me the speech for my wedding i've known Stu for 30 years first meeting when sat together in the same form room i don't think we even expected to be friends but for some crazy reason we did partially i think because either of us liked school still remember getting detention for helping you with your maths yes he actually got detention when he helped me on my maths Okay, I might have been for telling the useless teachers somebody has to do it. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't actually going to mention that part. But basically, he turned around and said the teacher was useless. <laughs> but then again, neither of us could ever keep our mouth shut. That's so true. I wish I could have been there when some of the teachers told you that you were no good at art and wouldn't amount to much. That is true. I actually got told I was no good at art and I wouldn't amount to much at all. All this time later, I am still angry when I think of those idiots. Okay, reading books isn't your strong point. Nope, I'd rather watch a film. But I never believed them for a second. I believed in you and still do. Now, there's something there with that. When I was in college, I actually approached the teacher and said I wanted to study computer art, uh, 3D animation, 3D model building. And they actually told me that there's no future in it. Been a long time since i got you that first camera yep the uh, the 400d that you can see in this video here is the actual camera he bought me it's my very first digital slr which was you know got me on the road to where i am now in fact i thought at least it would keep you sane, 
but also that you'd make a lot more out. Okay, both wrong, which is rare. The first you're clearly not saying, but the second that you beat my expectations every time, also that you managed to keep it a secret for so long after I asked you. So yeah, he told me not to tell anybody, and literally people are only just finding out now that it was Roger, my best man at my wedding, who bought me my first camera. I mean, I just had my first son born, there's no way I could afford to get that camera, but he bought it me. Over the years, looking back, I miss the days when we disappear over the chase, airsoft, the impromptu stunts, <laughs> yes. I still have that video and I might actually play it on the YouTube channel one day. Very first video I ever did. And the random filming sessions. You know you can make any midnight visits for fish finger sandwiches you want. Just remember no high jumping. Yeah. <laughs> I actually still have that video. Oh, it's mad. I tell you, it's absolutely mad. 20 odd years and in your case, one wife, four kids and a lot less hair. Thank you very much. Okay. We both moved on a load from when we started. At times, we may have both gone through a lot, but every time we've had each other's back. That is so true. And, <clears throat> excuse me a minute. And this same guy is the same person who told me to start my YouTube channel. Okay, he's the one who said, start the YouTube channel now and let people see you learning macro photography and in case anyone doesn't know that's what the channel is about it's about my journey into macro photography and becoming a macro photographer or better photographer in general okay and as again as i learn new techniques so do you because i put out a video showing it i know i got my dream job and became a successful scientist and in doing so have helped a lot of people over the years but one of the biggest costs and my regret is that i had to move away far away from you to do it and I couldn't be there when you needed me or just to have spend more time with my god kids he's also the godfather of my kids so obviously he was concerned last week with my youngest who got into the accident um, been a tough couple of weeks I'll tell you that you know that for helping all those people was worth the cost but barely okay back to me back to you back to me as a house husband you could have just stayed at home and look after the kids, but you're constantly trying to improve yourself. During your spare time, you've taught yourself several artistic skills. You've done special effects for an indie film. Yep, done that. I've had articles, tutorials and artwork published in a range of subjects. I have. <laughs> yeah, that was quite funny. Uh, created a range of Photoshop applications and now have this successful YouTube channel. Brilliant. That's the space art he was talking about. And I also used to do freelance work for Photoshop Creative. This leads me to the box. You'll soon find out the contents after one last bit. Your bit, if you're still awake, I think half the audience probably isn't. Not crying too much, not too much. Or got too impatient, already opened it. Nope. It actually says in the letter here about how I don't read, you know, and then he sends me a letter this bloody long that I've got to read out. Jesus Christ, if you're still watching now, you really are a supporter of the YouTube channel. I know you're always impatient, but just time for closing words. Always remember that although I can't visit as much as I want, I'd not to say things as often as I should, but I've always been so proud of you. You're an inspiration. No, oh, no, I've got to wait. Just wait. You're an inspiration and glad that you're my friend. I feel I've been far too nice with this letter, so in a second you can open the box thinking of the torture your viewers will get being able to see your ugly mug more clearly. On that cryptic note, please open the box, your friend always. Roger, P.S. Looking forward to seeing you open the box on the video, and if you read this aloud, I will hunt you down. Oh, perhaps I shouldn't have read that out. But anyway. So yeah, Roger is the man who's always had my back. He bought me my first camera. He always encouraged me. He's the godfather to my kids. And again, as I said, he's the one who told me to start this channel in the first place. So you have him to thank for that. So let's get this diorama open. Obviously, he's finished, hasn't he? So let's just open this up. No. No. <clears throat> oh, 
Okay. Guess I know what that's used for then. I know why you packed that in there for. Okay. Let's try and continue now if I can, but, um, well. It's not a diorama, I'll tell you that, okay? What can I say? What, what can I say? Yeah, I can get lost. He's... <laughs> oh, God. I ain't gonna be able to get through this video. Oh. Okay, so, um... <clears throat> As you can probably guess, it's not a diorama. He's bought me a new camera. Always got my back. As you know, I've been trying to decide whether to do, um, well, whether to get the EOS R or the 90D. And, oh God. And truth be told, the reason I couldn't decide is because of all the bad luck with the kids and that. I could get just the EOS R, but then I wouldn't have enough money for Christmas. And, um, yeah, I told him this, I said. It looks like it's going to be the, um, the 90D, which is, let's face it, it's kind of old technology, uh, because I wanted the spare money that I saved for Christmas, and he's, uh, he's done it again. He's, um, he's bought me a camera, and not only that, but he's got me the, uh, the RF, macro lens we have a control ring mount adapter and uh, a battery grip that's how well he knows me he knows i like my cameras to have the battery grip so that when i go on to portrait mode i still have the button there to trigger it and he knows i want to move up to using 4k which needs means i need to get new memory cards and i was see roger's the one i always come to i always talk to him about the future he knows what's happening with the channel next year not this year but next year he knows what's going on with the channel and i said to him if i did buy the eos r then i'm gonna have to change all my memory cards because i want to go in 4k he already knows that because he's gone and bought it wow this is um <laughs> this is uh, i'm sorry if this video is going on a bit long guys but this is um this is unreal it really is i mean come on let's get this open we want to have a look in here <coughs> <laughs> Canon, a genuine Canon battery. It's only the second one I've ever had. Instruction manuals. We're going to have to go through that, obviously. Pair of cables, USB cables. Strap might even put the strap on this one, but let's just take a look at this. So basically, um, the decision has been made for me by my good friend, who is a, a very big supporter of the channel. And there we go. We have an EOS R, which I've already used it at the photography show, and I know how good this camera can be. And that is, um, I'm speechless, I'll be honest with you. I don't know what to make of it. I'm actually shaking, look. So that is, uh, that is Roger. Anyone who knows my social media knows who he is. And if you wish to send him a message of thank you from me, then you can do that. I'm going to I'm gonna go on the phone to him, even though he never answers his phone. So I might have to wait till I go on Discord later. Remember that Macro World has a Discord channel as well. If you want to join in the conversations that we have on the Discord channel, you're more than welcome to do that. I, for one, I'm going to now unbox the rest of this. I'm not going to put you through all of that. And uh, I'm going to move over to the macro table with this and, uh, and have a play with this thing. Obviously, I'm going to bring you, you along for the ride. So we're going to be using this on some macro shoots. I wonder if we've got time this year to do another macro adventure. But anyway, that was the unboxing of the diorama. 
Okay, kind of gave away a few secrets for uh, next year because we are going to be doing that um, that tally, that little chart on the website of the best macro lenses for beginners, best overall macro lens, best lens, but you know, value, bang for buck. That is what we're going to do. So sometime next year, we will have an unboxing of a diorama. But for now, my name's Stuart Wood. I really want to thank Roger, my best mate, for, for this really, really kind gesture. I'm, I'm really am speechless. I don't know what to say. We're going to have some fun over the next few months with this kit. But anyway, I want to thank you for getting to the end of this video. And as always, I'll see you on the next video.